Hi there, my name is Carlo and I'm a member of the Data School's 27th cohort of the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tableau's clustering model. This will let you group together things of similar value using Tableau's inbuilt K means clustering. So, let's jump right into Tableau and get started. To showcase the clustering model, let's first build a scatter plot. To do that, we need to compare two measures. So, Let's compare our sales to our profit. So first of all, let's double click on sales and that will put the total number of sales we have in this data set into the sheet. Next, let's double click our profit. That will then compare the two values. However, at the minute we only have one mark. So to turn this into a scatter plot, we need to break up the view with a dimension. Let's take our product name from the data pane and drag that onto the detail. We now have a scatter plot of each product and its sales compared to its profit. As you can see, right now, we don't gain much information from this chart. But with the clustering model, we can start to group certain products together. So first of all, let's clean this up a little bit. And let's change the mark type here from a shape to just a full circle. To do that, we can go to the marks card, click where it says automatic, and then go down to circle. And now we have filled circles. Next, we want to go to the analytics pane. You can find this in the top left next to the data pane. Click on that, and then in the middle category, we can find cluster. If we double click on cluster, Tableau will analyze what's in the view and give us as many clusters as we need. But if we want, we can change the number of clusters here in this box. For now, let's go with four clusters. We can also see our variables that Tableau is assessing for our k-means clustering model. At the minute we have profit and sales, but if we go back to the data pane in the top left, then we can add any number of variables that are in our data set. So let's put quantity into our cluster and see how that changes things. As you can see now with that extra variable in there, Tableau has changed its analysis of the clustering model and it's clustered our products in different ways. We can also put discount in our variables and that clustering will change again. This is a very powerful tool and it can be used in a wide variety of use cases. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in using the clustering model in Tableau. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love the related how-to videos we've suggested by my fellow data schoolers. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next. Subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.